Welcome back to the Mr. Tux channel. Last week, what we talked about was setting up your OBS Live in kind of a way that is very, very simple and clean and looks amazing. But at the same time, it's not going to break your bank or, you know, overcomplicate your life. And also, you never have to deal with Streamlabs OBS again. Why is that a good thing? Because of the cool tools that I'm going to be able to show you in today's video. I showed you last week how to add a shadow to your webcam. And I also showed you guys how the widgets and the overlays work from the stream elements. And you'll see that I'm going to add them to our overlay now. I'll show you guys how to add those widgets, the rotating feed, the subtrain, and I'm also going to show you how to add in two plugins that are absolutely amazing. Let's get into it. First, we're going to start with the subtrain and the events rotator. Jump into the Discord if you already haven't. Link to that down in the description down below. But if you do have any questions about any of these things we go over today, you can hop in the Twitch when we're live. That's every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and most Saturdays around 7 p.m. Eastern. Jump in, ask questions, always available. To make this even easier on you guys, what I'm going to explain is how you can actually take all of these widgets and all of your sources uh, for, for your overlays and put them into a single overlay for maybe each one of your scenes. As for your live screen, your intermission screen, you're going to have different overlays because your subtrain, your rotating feed, that's all gonna be in different spots. They're gonna be different sizes. You're gonna change them as per what size your, your camera is, the size of your gameplay. I'm gonna show you how to do that. That's more of a simple way. And the best way to do it is after you go into the Discord, you download the, the two widgets. They're gonna show up here. But let's say you have your starting soon screen or your intermission screen. I already have them here. We'll take the subtrain, for example. We're gonna rename this overlay one. And then we're gonna go over to the rotating feed. And this is overlay two. What we wanna do is we wanna take overlay two with the rotating feed. We wanna take this rotating feed and we wanna select it and we want to duplicate it. And when we duplicate it, it's gonna ask us if we wanna duplicate it to this overlay or to another overlay. The one that we wanna select is overlay one, submit. So now when we go back, overlay one, what do we have? We have both the event feed and the subtrain. Now you can't see the subtrain until I emulate it. Here you go, there you go, it pops up. If you wanna add these, you come over and you copy your overlay URL. When you do this, I'm gonna come back here to your OBS Live, your OBS Studio, and you, what you're going to do is you're going to add a browser source. You're going to take this, name it whatever you want, and you're going to come here, and you are going to paste your overlay, and you want to make sure that it is in the same resolution, which I always recommend you do 1920 by 1080. So now your overlay is here, as you can see. Now, if we want to change this, what we're going to do is you want to come back to your overlays and you want to save. See how I've already moved this to a different location? Let's save that and come back here and there. It's been moved. Let's say it's not in the right spot. Now let's come over to our subtrain. It, let's say that's in the wrong spot. Let's say we want to put it down all the way towards the bottom. Save it. Come back. And now what we want to do is we'll save and let's see how it looks. Emulate. There's the subtrain. Counting down. And... You can see it here on stream. This is what you're looking for. All of that is contained within a browser source. You can go back through, you can put a chat for your live chat. You can put that anywhere. You put your alert box. You do everything that you need to other than that. Everything else is pretty basic, pretty straightforward. You're gonna come over here. If you wanna add your alert box, you add your alert box. Very simple, it's already hooked up. For a new streamer to come in and be able to just plug everything in and be able to start streaming, this makes it very, very easy. Just as easy as Streamlabs OBS. You can even import everything as soon as you sign in and you down after you download OBS Live, everything's already integrated right there for you. That's gonna do it. I, I wanted to get into a little bit more detail just to show you guys how to easily control your overlays. Put everything in one spot so you have one browser source and then move it on over 
over to OBS Studio, OBS Live, so that you can easily manage your overlays. You know where everything is, and then you can resize and move stuff around as you see fit. The next videos that we're going to be coming out with are going to go into detail for specifically a couple of plugins for OBS Studio. Now, OBS Live is a plugin for OBS Studio. OBS Live is something that is integrated with stream elements so that you can have your whole command center, your whole events feed, and then you can also have your chat, your stream information, just everything integrated into your OBS Studio so that it'll look pretty similar to what you're used to with Streamlabs OBS. Everything's there, great to look at, easy to use, but just so many more different, amazing tools. These next plugins that we're gonna be going into, I'm gonna do them one at a time. What I wanted to do was put them both together into one video, but if I go through step-by-step -step process on how to in download, install, and integrate these by example, to easily show you how to do it step-by-step, -step, it's gonna end up being like a 20-minute video. 25 minute video to 30 minute video. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to make this quick, easy for you. Keep these videos relatively short so that you guys, so it's easy for you guys to look at. And that way you guys will be able to integrate more better and just better looking ideas, better looking things for your streams, just to make them look amazing. If you want to learn how to do this, And get a transition like that instead of a stinger transition those are cool this is clean so if you guys are interested in that stick around for the next week's video because that is going to be specifically about how to install different transitions and different effect for your stream if you guys like this video drop a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed join the discord we have all of the different graphics and different interesting uses and free stuff that you can use for your streams in the Discord. And if you guys ever have any other questions, we're live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and most Saturdays around 7 p.m. Eastern. Until next week, you guys, be busy. All right, come here, you all rants. This guy's back in the books. He just said I was hacking. How many's left? Just the one.